Welcome back to Shul Lights. Today, I've got the MK38 in the XHP 70.2 emitter option, and then the Ace Beam X50 in the GT FC40 option. So this is a throwier option with less lumens. I wish I could have had these both in uh, the Ace Beam format, because I want to compare these two emitters. But my X50 is not with me right now because I do have an X50 with these emitters. And one day when I get it back, I will definitely do a head-to-head -head between the MK38 uh, with the XP, XHP 70.2 against the Ace Beam. I don't expect to see much difference at all, to be honest. They're very similar lights. But today, we're looking at the difference between the thrower option and the more luminous option. Let's start with this lumen tube. I'll start with the XHP 70.2 here. So let me get this ready. Okay, get that guy and we'll turn it on and straight to turbo. So we got, uh, it started at 30,000 lumens there. Now it's dropping down a little bit. And we're gonna go about 15 more seconds. So here we are around ANSI and we're looking at about 26,000, 26,000 lumens. Okay, cool. Now let's take a look at, let me change the aperture a little bit. Let's take a look at the FC40. Okay, so we'll turn it on. Okay, boop. And, okay, there we go. So it started at just below 17,000. And it was like 1680. So 16,800, and it's dropping already. Let's go about 20 more seconds. Okay, we're down to about 14,500. And as we approach ANSI here, it looks like we're going to be about 14,000. So 14,000 lumens for the GT, GTF. C40. Okay. And also I want to point out that um, the ace beam is hotter. <laughs> it's hotter. All right, let's take it outside and let's see some beam shots. Okay, guys, I'm out here on my street with the ace beam X50 in my right hand. This is the one with the GT FC40 throw emitters. And then in my left hand, I've got the Manker MK38. This is the one with the XHP 70.2s. Now, I want to point out that I'm locked at 5200K white balance and I'm also exposure locked. So let's start out with the MK38 and we'll go straight to turbo. And remember that those palm trees in the back there are 110 meters away and this is lighting up this crazy. Let's try the throw ear. FC 40s now and we will do this and straight to turbo oh wow that's it's interesting I didn't expect it to be look that much different it really does doesn't it let's try the XHP 70s again and let's try the FC 40s Wow, I'm definitely going to have to see the edit with both of them in the same shot to tell what I'm looking at. I can tell right now that the FC40s are more narrow. I can tell that it's sending less light to the sides, but uh, to see if it's actually brighter on those uh, palm trees, I'm going to have to look at the uh, two up. So let's go ahead and look at that. All right, taking a look at these two pictures, a couple things become apparent. So the XHP 70.2 has more lumens, as you'd expect, and it's got a wider beam. It's more floody. And you can see that especially on the trees on the left side and right side of frame. But now let's turn our gaze towards the center. And the FC40 is a throw rear emitter. And according to Ace Beam and Manker, uh, both brands claim that the FC40 has more throw, that it goes a further distance. I'm not seeing that, at least at 110 meters. Remember, I've got the exposure locked, I've got the white balance locked, and if you look, those trees right in the center, the four palm trees, are brighter on the top panel than the bottom one. We're talking it's really close here, um, so it's not a big difference. 
But I just think it's interesting that if you're going for lumens, and I think that these things are lumen monsters, if you're going for pure lumens, you should go for the Cree XHP 70.2 every time. Why would you ever go for the FC40? Well, I suppose if you wanted high CRI. And, you know, I'm not going to debate anybody too much on it, but it just seems like I don't know how much I need a high CRI soda can flutter. So it's kind of an oxymoron in my opinion, but I'm sure somebody out there will argue with me. Now let's go out to my other site. This is the one I take my throwers to and see how well these things can hit one kilometer, if, if at all. All right, I'm here at my second location and right where my finger's pointing to the horizon, there is a tower that's exactly one kilometer away. Let's start out with this L7 by Convoy. This is an SBT thrower and I'll put it to turbo. Here we go. And there's that tower I'm talking about. There it is. So let's see if either of these lights can make it that far. So let's start with the Manker MK38 and let's see if it can make it. All right, it's very floody. I, I think it's making it a little bit. It's definitely illuminating this field. This field is just blasted with light. I think it might be making it. All right, now let's do the Ace Beam X50 with the FC40s. Hmm, to my eye, let me switch off. So that was the Ace Beam. All right, let's go back to the Manker MK38 with the XHP. Wow, there's not a huge difference. Let's make sure I'm on turbo. Okay, so the FC40 are going a little further. They are, but I mean, I'm surprised how little the difference is. And I do notice that the beam shape is way different. So let's do a side-by-side -side of these two rapid fire. So I'll have them both on. In the right hand, that's the FC40. And in the left hand here is the XHP 70.2. And you can see that the XHP 70.2 has a much wider beam compared to this one. So here's my summary on that. My summary is that if you're gonna get a soda can flutter like this, you might as well just get a flutter. You might as well go for the XHP 70s. I just don't see the advantage to a little bit of more throw on a light like this. If I want throw, I should just go with my L7, right? Just do something like this. So again, I don't know how effective putting the FC 40s, you know, eight of them into a soda can is. So my pick, XHP 70.2. If you want to know more about the operation of the MK38 or the Ace Beam X50, I have videos on that. So go ahead and look at my channel. I got deep dive reviews on both of these awesome flashlights. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out.